Hi, this is Donald Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today I'm so excited to share this adorable little project with you. It's a punch art cow and look how cute it is. But it's even cuter because it's attached to one of our narrow cello bags from Stampin' Up! And inside of it are flavoring straws for milk. And I got these at my local grocery store, so I just thought the cow was a perfect little accessory for him. So let's get started. Here's a recipe card that I put together with the different punches that was used to make our cute little cow here. We're going to start with the builder punch, um, excuse me, the owl builder punch, and you need to punch out two of them. So I have one here. Actually, I have two, like I said. And um, I've already cut off the feet on one, and you need to trim the feet on the, the second one as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. The other thing that we're going to do on the second one is we're going to trim the ears off. And what you want to do is just keep following kind of the, the way that curve is running just to trim those, those ears off. So the next step is I punch two out of the smaller one for his ears and this is in basic black and you're going to attach these onto the owl that just has his legs off so that's what this looks like and it looks like that right here next thing that you'll need is the boho blossom punch and there's three flowers on here but we just need the largest one cut in whisper white I'm going to put a little adhesive just um, on I'm essentially trying to cover three of the petals here Come in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing next. And then where that adhesive is, I'm going to attach it to the owl, which is really the face of our the head of our cow here. And I'm just having the three show here. I'm going to press that on there and then use my paper snips to trim it off. Even though I show this in the picture like that, you don't need to trim it. Um, like do what I did, attach it and then trim it so much easier. Next we're going to work on the eyes and that's these pieces here and we're actually going to work on the nose as well. I'm going to actually talk about the nose first. The nose is um, this piece right here of the Owl Builder and we're actually going to cut it in half. And I like to um, build all my eyes and stuff right on glue dots and I leave them right on here. They're easy to handle. So you this is what the mini glue dots look like. And then while this is still on the glue dot paper, then I can take my scissors and just trim straight through the glue dot and the cardstock circle, and I can get my nose here. So I love that. And so those went right there. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and build this. We're going to build it on this one here. I'm going to start by just putting adhesive towards the bottom of the oval, and I'm going to line that up towards the bottom of the, of the owl. Position this a little bit better. And the reason I'm doing it this way is that my eyes are going to just slide in underneath that. Just like this. All right, oops. One more here. Okay, and turn it this way. Kind of has a bit of googly eyes going on there. Let's get that underneath there. And there we go. There he is. And now we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll put that on top of the first one that we built here. And these just match up just like that. And there is your cow. Isn't he cute? So I had so much fun making him. I was actually inspired by the packaging that the um, straws came in. So it doesn't look exactly like it, but it kind of works. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope you have some more fun with punch art. Join me at DoStampinWithDawn.com.